Ah, animation! The exhilarating process of drawing things over and over and over again. It's through this soothing, repetitive action an animator can truly express their inner art. But wait! Computers make everything easier! So you wanna become an animator, eh? Be compared with the greatest minds in animation history? To do this we must learn from those who came before us. Stand on the shoulders of the animation giants and ride the waves to animation success. Well, you can't just sit there and expect the sequence of animation to hit you in the head. You need... The Twelve Principles! The foundations of animation hinge on these simple, easy-to-remember principles. Squash and stretch! Anticipation! Staging! Straight head action and pose Follow to pose. pose. And overlapping Slow action. in. Slow ah. Secondary Timing. action. Exaggeration. Solid drawing. And appeal. Hmm, <laughs> easy, yes. Let's take a look at each. An and not to worry. We can harness squash and stretch to give something exaggerated weight or springiness, or even aid it in anticipation to a movement. It's important to note that squash and stretch is not just a shift in volume. It can also be pose-based. Look at this illustration. The character here is squashed in his pose, and now here, he is stretched. Now let's plus these poses by adding in the volume changes. Principle 2. Anticipation. Anticipation is used to prepare the audience for an action and to make the action appear more realistic. Notice that before this person walks off screen, they anticipate in the opposite direction, letting the viewer know, hey, look at me, I'm about to do something. Please note that without proper anticipation, we may miss the point of the shot. If this were a slapstick film and we wanted to make sure you laughed at this clip, we would make sure there were plenty of time to read that an action was about to happen. Notice again the anticipation in the hands moving backward before advancing for the full on slap. Now what happens Those if are the basic the principles of animation. And again, don't worry, we'll be repeating those principles over and over throughout your time here at Anim School. Now that we have a basic understanding of the... <clears throat> now that we have a basic understanding of the principles of animation, let us closer examine the differences between timing and spacing. Timing is simply the time it takes for something to... happen. Or not happen. Timing is also how long it takes for an object to get from A to B. Let's explore this first. Timing is a Shall wonderful we? tool for every animator's tool belt. But unfortunately, timing cannot exist alone. Thankfully, the animation guards created spacing. Together, timing and spacing create the foundational illusions of movement and animation. But keep in mind, timing and spacing rely so heavily on one another that by changing one, the other is directly affected. Spacing is simply the space you travel between each pose. Or drawing. Notice all the onion skinned poses are evenly spaced. As a result, every frame becomes predictable, which makes the overall action boring. Not only is the action boring, but it lacks realistic weight. Why is this? Let's try changing the spacing. Ah, much better. By clustering these first few drawings towards the top, and then giving the middle section a larger gap, we are not only suggesting an increase in speed through the middle section, but also the illusion of weight. So, from these simple laws that Newton has given us, animators have extracted principles to help us communicate these laws in a clear, believable way. Principles such as ease in and ease out. Congratulations! Now that you're grounded in the animation principles, you can go forth with confidence.